on today's episode. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Dude, look at the back wheel just floating. Dude. <laughs> He's got them floaters on that bitch. What's up everyone? So we're in Dawsonville today meeting up with some friends. We're gonna be doing some trail riding. Well, let's just walk around and see what we have as far as trucks that are going. So we got this Lexus GX470. We got a Toyota Tacoma. We've got a couple Mercedes ML. This is my truck over here, the Toyota 4Runner. This is a ML320. I believe that's a 320. This is the ML350 over here. And then we got Zach's Toyota 4Runner as well. We got some surgery going on over here. Some surgery, we're making a coolant hose. Okay, okay, so you popped a leak or something. Do you want to All right guys, so we're getting ready to roll out. Um, so we're leaving the ML behind. This what? This is a 350, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. So we're leaving the 350 behind. And then we're heading up Nimblewell. Okay, so the Tacoma is gonna lead and then we all just follow. Once we refueled our cars, we headed out to our ultimate destination, Nimblewill Church Road, where the pavement quickly turned into packed gravel, foreshadowing what was to come. All right, guys, well, we have made it to Nimblewill Church Road. So we got the Toyota Tacoma up front, and we got the GX470. We got the 4Runner, ML320, another 4Runner, and then we have, that is an ML500. After catching up and making sure everyone was okay, we all started our ascent up Nimblewill Church Road. The road went from somewhat smooth packed gravel to bumpy dirt and clay in a few miles. Since the trail is shrouded in tree cover during the summer months, it's best to do this trail in the fall if you want mountain views. On this day, the ground was pretty dry, so the ride up Nimblewill Church Road was uneventful. We didn't encounter any traffic coming in the opposite direction. It was as if we had the trail all to ourselves. We continued climbing at a steady pace, not sure what was ahead of us, since a few of us had not been here before. Little did we know that just ahead of us, we were about to encounter a really cool surprise, as well as learn about a tragedy that happened here in the North Georgia mountains. All right, so now I'm, I'm curious, is this the Appalachian Trail or what's no. the story? Yeah. It is? Is this the Appalachian? Yeah. It is the Appalachian? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Three more miles away. We go three more miles up there, that's the start of it. That's Springer. 
Yes, Spring Ringer Mountain, Mountain Trailhead is there. Below with the, the How many miles you guys did today? So far, like three and a half. Oh. No, four and a half. Okay, and a half. that's good, that's we good. We started at the Appalachian State, the Amicalola. Amicalola, the State Paul. Park. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, have fun. How many more miles are you all doing? Okay. And then back? No, our cars there. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Brave people. <laughs> See you all. After learning about a plane crash that happened near this area on April 10th, 1968, we decided to send up one of our drones to find out what was being hidden from us under this dense tree cover. The view of the North Georgia mountains from above the trees was absolutely stunning and beautiful. With our short stop over, we continued on down the opposite side of the mountain. This section is a level two trail intended for vehicles with high ground clearance and four by four capability. Thankfully, the ground was very dry because if it were wet, we can see how this road can become treacherous. It was slow going for all of us. We only encountered one SUV coming in the opposite direction. The trail was wide enough to allow us to pass without much problems. Sadly, the dense tree cover continued to hide the views of the North Georgia mountains from us. This almost guarantees that we need to do this trail again in the fall when the trees have no leaves. Pretty soon, we encountered a few obstacles in the trail. While not particularly challenging, they were fun for all of us. That's the monster right there. One by one, we all made our way carefully down the trail. We all were thinking what attempting this in the rain or snow would actually be like. Maybe we need to come back and do it again in the winter?
<laughs> oh my god <laughs> Tita Tata <laughs> Oh my god Who's next? What is he doing? Dude look at the back of him floating Dude He's got them floaters on that bitch Okay so made that look so easy. I sure do love to lift wheels. <laughs> Dude, the craziness you did. Everyone made it back unscathed. So you can see we got the Tacoma, the ML320, the GX470, and what is that, the ML5. Uh, everybody's made it down and uh, it was good. Good being out. All right guys, so we're doing a post trail wide booty heat. What did you get over there? What is that? Oh, uh, the steak salad. Steak salad. Mm. Oh my. You got the uh, chicken, uh, chicken sandwich, yeah. fish and chips, and Swiss burger. Meatloaf. Yeah. 